soul should get out of the grave. So all of us cannot allow sin to keep us bound, but we are had the freedom to walk out and walk freely in the abundance of the life of Jesus Christ because that's what he intended for us. Do you know that? I turn to someone and says, I'm free. I'm free, I'm forgiven, I'm blessed, I'm highly favored because that's what God has done for me. I believe it. I have touched it, I'm feeling it right now, and I know that it's real. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not all of his benefits. Who heals? Forgives me of all of my iniquities. All of my iniquities. Not just a few, all of them. Who heals all of my diseases. It says here, for if we have been united together in likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. I like being raised. I like being free. I like being forgiven. I like the abundance of Jesus Christ. How about you? That's what God wants us to walk in. That's how God wants us to live. Now you're going to have opportunities this week. Can I tell you? You're going to have some opportunities out there in, in Facebook world. You're going to have an opportunity to forgive somebody. Oh yeah, you will. And if you've been raised from the dead, you actually understand this. Breathe upon them and say, receive me the Holy Spirit. And tell them your sins are forgiven. Do you know how often people are reminded how screwed up they are? Maybe we should remind them that they're healed and forgiven. And loved and highly favored. That's what God wants us to do. And that's what Christ did for us. That's why he said this. Every time, every time he saw the disciples, he says, peace be with you. The war of sin and death is over. And we can live in his peace. In his resurrection power. Do I always walk in it the way I should? Lord, help me to see it. Help me to understand it. Help me to live this life in the truth of what you have spoken to us. Help me to, to touch and to feel and to know that you're the one that conquered hell, death, and the grave.